1959, uh, the most uh, I think revolutionary step happened to Brook was because he developed the first circulator power. And this very quickly became a huge success, and today that is uh, a best-selling product, and we have around 50% of the world market for circulator pumps. So this one was called Vamefus. Vama is short for heat, so it was a heat pump. <laughs> But in 1960, when we had our first subsidiary in, established in Germany, he realized that you couldn't keep naming them Danish names, Rundfuss, Dufus, Bamfuss, nobody knew what that meant, and it would be disastrous in a couple of years when we have many different pump types. So he decided, okay, it was time to go a bit more international, and uh, he decided just to call them BP, which is short for Bamfumbe, it's a Danish for heat pump, but he also realized, yeah, that didn't really work either. So he actually decided to call them UP, which is an abbreviation for Umweltpumpen, the German word for circulator pump. And that was also because, of course, the German market was the only foreign market at that point. And ever since, the, the UP has been the abbreviation or the generic term for, for all circulator pumps. But uh, it rapidly developed. The first one here weighed 14 kilos. And uh, of course, as you can see, uh, we just reduced uh, the materials through time. We introduced a regulation, so it, it had two different speeds already here in 1962. And then we started building in uh, electronics. And uh, I just want to show you a couple of uh, parts. 